This was the last hold-up on the outskirts of Catania before the entry on Thursday the 5th of August. The strong point that delayed the victorious sweep of our armies through Sicily. Mines, as usual, were left by the retreating Germans. But they also left behind some evidence of the accuracy of Allied bombing of airfields. Some reasons why enemy opposition in the air was slight. While the occupation proceeded, so too did the island's work. Thrashing linseed under modern fascist rule was still done by out-of-date methods. And now, the entry into Catania. used to send bombers to blast Malta into surrender. These scenes in the marshalling yard show how their blasting was repaid with interest. In the town itself, there was the usual welcome from the Sicilian peasants. Since our successful invasion, we've heard that Sicilians never really liked Mussolini. We didn't hear much about it before. But it's a famous old custom in some parts of the world. It's called cheering the winners. After the Germans retreated and before we could establish proper control, some of the citizens indulged in the equally ancient custom of looting. You may ask, where were the Italian police? Oh, here they are. That's how the 8th Army entered Catania. A great triumph after a battle as grueling as any from Alamein to Tunis. The finest army Britain ever produced can put another notch in its gun. With Catania's fall, the greater part of Sicily was ours. Mm -hmm. 